Hello everybody! Today I'm going to be doing a little review on a product that I use quite a lot. This is about my fourth bottle so far. Um, this product is rose water and there are tons of different kinds of rose water that you can buy. Um, I'll kind of go over why I like this one a little bit more than the other ones that I've tried. To start off, to give you a little bit of background about this product, this is by a brand called Marido Badescu. Basically, it's a skincare product that's been around here for quite a while, for 50 years. Um, they make all kinds of products. They make um, facial, facial masks, things for acne, um, moisturizers, and different sprays like so. I prefer the rose water spray just because the scent is gentle, it's not super crazy, and it is pleasant. It smells really, really good. Um, so this one is just facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. So the description that they give you is, once you've tried our rejuvenating facial spray, you won't want to be without it. Use it to set makeup, soothe your skin in dehydrating conditions, or... So the ingredients here are plain and simple, you know, water, it has glycol, aloe, um, rose extract. It does have a little bit of um, uh, red dye in it, just a small amount. If you are not sensitive to this kind of dye, then you'll be fine. So it isn't all natural, but you get quite a bit of product. It's four ounces, um, so it's a good sizing. It's easy to throw into your purse or your bag. Another thing is that this product is unisex. A man could definitely use this product, you know, to soothe their face after they shaved or did their own facial regime. So I like this product a lot. Um, so I'll kind of tell you how I use it. Um, I use it a couple different ways. So first off, like if I'm throughout the day and it's hot outside, especially in the summertime, and my face just feels like too hot, my, my face tends to get really, really warm and my cheeks get really rosy, I like to spray a little bit of this on and it instantly just calms my face down and <laughs> just kind of just makes me feel refreshed. Um, it, cool, it has a really nice cooling property to it, which I really like. Another thing is for multiple uses for makeup. So the obvious one would be to do your full makeup routine and then use it at the very end to set. Now that works great. Um, if you have extremely oily skin, I would not recommend. This product might make it worse and make your products kind of fall off your face. But if you have like combination skin like me or just like a normal skin or dry skin, this will work fine for you. It'll just kind of keep everything intact, give you a nice finish and make everything not look super dry or cakey. It kind of just makes everything look very set and nice. Um, I will show you an example of a way to use this product um, that might be something you might want to try. While you're doing your makeup, you don't only have to use it when you're done with your makeup. You can also use it as you're doing your makeup. So I will show you an example here. So I will kind of show you guys another way to use this product that might not be as well known as using it to set your makeup. Um, one way to do it is to use it as you're doing your makeup. So a problem that a lot of women have that I've noticed is when they use a bronzer product like this one or any other cream product, it doesn't really blend as well into their face as they would like. It kind of almost gets grainy. The texture gets a little odd. So I was trying to figure out ways to kind of help and I saw this girl on another video and she kind of did this and I tried it out for myself and I loved it. So I'm just taking a cream contour stick. I'm going to be taking the contour side. I'm not going to bother with the highlight side. And I'm just going to put it on my skin like how I would if I were to put it on my own face. So as you can see, it's very dark right now compared to my natural skin tone. And that could be a little bit difficult to blend out to get it to that nice natural contour that you would want. So. If I have it on my face, let's say that's my face, and I spray, you know, a couple of sprays of the product, and you take a damp beauty blender, which is a popular um, method of blending, and I just kind of blend like so. It lessens the harshness of the product and keeps everything nice and cohesive. It blends into the skin well. It doesn't get crusty it doesn't get you see how much more natural that looks compared to how it looked before and so imagine how that would look on you know a nice freshly foundation face when you wanted to do a contour so i just wanted to show you guys that quick little tip another use to this product is for a natural smelling perfume 
or a nice hair refresher. So at the end of the day, you don't have time to take a shower or something and you don't have super oily hair and your hair just kind of smells, you know, it doesn't smell bad, it just kind of smells like like you've been out all day long. You might want to use a product like this to just give your hair a nice little pick me up and a nice scent that is not too overpowering and would not overpower the perfume that you chose to use later on. So like that, I'm just kind of going like this and spritzing it in my hair and it will definitely give you an instant pick-me-up. I believe personally that this product is a little bit better than the other rose water products that I've tried. Now I've tried probably three or four different kinds, I'm excluding this one right here. Um, the other ones um, tend to have glycerin in it, which might be good for some people. But for me, it irritates my skin and clogs my pores like no other. It just kind of makes me feel like I have a film on my face. And it definitely doesn't give me like the light finish that I want. Um, other ones tend to have really, really strong smells. Where it's like I spray it on myself and it, I can smell it on myself all day long. And I don't necessarily always want to smell like rose. So this one is light enough to where you can layer it with other scents or wear it alone and it's not overbearing. It gives you a nice, fresh, clean smell. It makes you feel like you just got out of the shower. Um, as for the coloring, the only setback is that it does have a um, an unnatural dye in it. I'm not a big fan of that personally. I think that it's really unnecessary. I think that the product alone is fine and it would also appeal to more people if you didn't have the dye. But other than that, I this product does everything that it says it does and I keep buying it. So obviously I like it for a reason. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.